morning my peoples it is easter sunday so i am going to wish you guys happy easter sunday and i have decided that today i am going to go to edinburgh um so i'm going to take you guys with me today um i need to top up my foundation and i can only get this in edinburgh so i'm going to go and buy this um, I also need to get my new setting spray and stuff as well. So I'm just going to go through. I'm going to go for a little wander, see what there is happening in Edinburgh today. And yeah, we'll just see what kind of happens. Um, tonight I have got a few videos and stuff to um, upload. Are this hairs not playing today? Yeah, so tonight I have got a video to do as well. Um, I've been given some products from Forever Living, which is like the aloe vera kind of skincare. So I have a girl that um, I went to school with, Cheryl, who has asked me to um, try out some of the products. So I'm going to try them out live for you guys and post a video with my opinions and stuff like that and what I think of the products. So yeah, that's going to be a good video. But yeah, I'm just going to take, I'm going to go and get my earphones because um, I am going to take the train today. So I'm going to do a little outfit of the day for you guys so you can see what I've got on. My jacket's in the car though, so I'm going to have to go and get my jacket in the car, but I'll be wearing my black leather jacket. But yeah, let's, let's show you what we've got on today. Okay, so today I have got my Primark earrings in. Um, I have got my black bodysuit, which is from Topshop. Um, my belt is from Primark. My jeans are from Forever 21? Yeah, these ones are for Forever 21. And I have got my Vans on as well. So, um, yeah, this is my little outfit of the day. I think this necklace is from Primark as well, actually. It's just got like a little small N on it. And yeah, let's go. Let's go and get the dogs out. And then we'll be heading through to Edinburgh. So, I have made it down to the train station and I've just missed the first train. That's just typical Nicky. Um, so, I'm just going to sit here for a couple of minutes. The next train's not until like 20 to 12, so I'm just gonna kind of chill here for a little bit. Um, I don't think I've got anything to tell you guys. It's been actually quite a while since I last vlogged. I vlogged last Sunday, so it's been a week since I did the last vlog. Um, and I haven't done any videos and stuff as well, but I have got two videos in plan, so I'm gonna film them later on tonight um, and be able to get them ones uploaded for you guys. It's kind of a little bit behind it. I've, I've, I did plan on having a schedule on YouTube, but it doesn't seem to have worked that way. I seem to be uploading more on Mondays and I think it's because I don't have the greatest Wi-Fi in my house. It's like not a fast broadband speed. So when I try and do, um, when I try and upload my own videos in the house, it takes ages. So I find myself having to go and sit at Costa to do it because theirs is really, really quick. Um, and the only time I can really get to Costa is on a Monday during the day because that was usually my day off. So um, I found that I'm having to do that a bit more often than than not so um i think it's gonna be more mondays it might still be a thursday um i've got two videos to film tonight so i'll upload one of them um tomorrow probably along with this vlog um and then i'll upload the other one on thursday yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do um but yeah i changed my mind on my jacket i put my teddy bear jacket on instead i came outside and it was actually a lot colder than what i expected the sun's out but it is definitely still a little bit chilly, so I'm going to keep my teddy bear jacket on today and um, just to keep myself a little bit warm because I do only have like a spaghetti strap vest on today. It's nothing worse when you've missed a train and you've got to wait for the next one. So the next one's not for like another like 20 minutes. So, and I'm sitting at the station now, so I'll probably catch the next one really soon. Um, and then we shall update you guys when we're on the train. Yeah. I've just got back from Edinburgh. Sorry, I didn't vlog very much. Um, it's kind of hard to vlog when you're on your own and you kind of feel a bit, oh, the dogs want out. Yeah, it's a bit hard to vlog and stuff on your own, like, especially when you're just new to it. So I still need to learn to get used to kind of vlogging and getting the camera out when I'm walking about by myself. But I will, I will do it eventually. So I am home. I got some shopping. Sara, we got a Harvey Nichols and there's a little bit of Primark and some Nicks and stuff in there as well um, but I think I'm going to do like a little haul 
So I'll do a little haul for you guys just so you can see what I got when I was in Edinburgh today. But I still got a lot of housework I had to do. So I came home a little bit early today. I didn't I didn't stay in Edinburgh very long. Um, I think I was there for about three hours. Three hours, four hours. By the time I got through there, I think it was about I think it was about four hours. I think it was about four hours. What have I got to do? I've got dishes to do, I've got washing to do, I've got dogs to walk. I have got music to cut and edit ready for um, tomorrow's private lessons because I am doing private lessons tomorrow at the studio from 9 till 4. So I am there all day tomorrow. Um, it's because it's the Easter holidays, so the kids are off school, which means I can put some extra lessons in. Um, I'm actually lucky I'm going to be off the studio for the next two weeks because it's the Easter holidays. So the schools are off, which means I'm off as well. Also fitted in like an Easter camp and stuff as well. So, uh, yeah. Oh, God. It's looking worse than when you're trying to hold this camera and it's just like... So yeah, I'm trying to hold the camera. My arm's getting sore, but that's because I'm trying to hold it up all by myself. But yeah, I really need to get rid of these flowers. I kind of had them for a little while. Um, I have been watering them, but I think they're, I think they're dead now. Yes, Nikki, I think they're dead, so you need to put them out. Hey, actually, do you know what? I'll do the haul first. Let's do a little small haul so you can see what I got from shopping today. Okay, so what I went to, through to Edinburgh for today was actually to get my foundation because I'd run out. So I went first to Harvey Nicks and I managed to get my foundation. There's an ad in my bag. It's been tied so tightly. I used the Fenty Beauty. You can't get it anywhere else apart from online. And to be honest, I just fancied it a little day out because it was my day off. So I thought, right, okay, do you know what? I'll go through to Edinburgh, I'll pick up my foundation and I can have a little look around the shops as well. So I got my foundation, so I'm kind of glad because I was literally squeezing the last little bits out of my out of the tube that I had before. So uh, I couldn't squeeze any more out. I was using it, I was like dragging it around my face this morning to try and get the rest of the last stuff on. Um, so yeah, so it's the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna and shade 170. Yeah, that's what I picked up when I was in Harvey Next. Next, I went and looked into Zara because I love Zara. Zara is one of my favourite clothing shops. I seen this top and I was like, this is actually really nice. It's like a really long wearing top, so you can see it's like super long. Um, but because it's so long, it means I can wear it as like a t-shirt dress with a pair of boots and stuff for during the day in the summertime. Or if I want to put it on with like a pair of leggings or a pair of skinny jeans, I can just like tie it in like a little knot. It's this t-shirt here and it says local famous and then underneath it just says local famous again, but it's like upside down, upside down. Like that uh, but like I said it's quite long so it means I could like tie it like a little knot at the bottom and like tie it up so that's probably what I'm going to end up doing if I'm wearing it like normally without if I'm going to wear it with jeans and stuff I'll tie it up so it's a little bit tucked up so yeah that t-shirt from Zara was $15.95 and I got this in a size medium the Edinburgh Primark actually had some really nice things so yeah when I went to Primark I picked up these jeans so i managed to pick up the black jeans and they've got like a little like sport red stripe in that down the side which i thought was really nice like a different kind of edge to it um, and it kind of goes in with that like sports luxe look that's kind of kicking about the ends are like frayed you got a little bit of fighting going on i got these these were 17 pound which is a wee bit more expensive for the primat jeans but i actually didn't still quite decent considering they're like a different look and stuff and you manage to get like the little red stripe and stuff i really like these ones and they'll be like a wee staple piece to put on with like a plain t-shirt went a little bit like ott when it came to sunglasses and prime work but they had so many nice ones that i couldn't pick and i was like do you know what i'm just gonna i'm just gonna get them all i think i've said this to you guys before like i have so much pairs of sunglasses i think i have a little bit of an addiction okay i got not only just one pair not just two pairs, not even just three pairs, but four pairs of sunglasses. What even is life? Oh, they're all totally different shapes, which I really, really liked. So the first ones that I got were these little, like, they're like, they've got like a slight kind of peachy orange tint to them. Um, and they're like a gold frame. Like so. I hope they give me like proper, like, is it Neil Lennon? Neil Lennon vibes. So yeah, like I think these really, really suit like my skin tone and stuff like that. So um, I really, really like these ones. I'm just a little bit different. Okay, can we just appreciate how fashion forward Primark is getting? Like they're, they're, they're actually keeping really up to date with their fashion. But check these ones. So these little like, um, like diamond shape. Are they like a diamond shape? I don't know. I didn't stick it at maths to really understand what the shapes are, but 
but they've got these like tinted like dark which they're black so it's that's that's my thing um but they're so cool like i absolutely love these ones these are going to really jazz up an outfit um but yeah in the summertime i'm going to be kicking about in the summer looking great got my hippie vibes these are these are definitely like I think these actually, along with my sleek cat eye ones, I think these are probably like my favourite pair. Yeah. Okay, thirdly, we got another pair of sunglasses. And these are kind of similar to like the little like um like triangle ones, but they're just more oval shaped. So instead of them being like a full coverage of the eye, they're just a little small coverage of the eye. So these are like really cute. They're gold and they've got like a little brown kind of tint in the middle. They're really nice. Like I really like how they look and stuff like that on my face. Um, again, these are like another kind of happy vibe kind of ones. But yeah, like I really like these as well. So, okay. And lastly, I got these ones. Now they're kind of like, they're not like aviators, but they are like, they're like, they've got the aviator kind of style at the top, but they go more into like a point at the end. But I really quite like these because they actually remind me of a pair of the Ray-Ban ones that have just come out. So yeah, like this is my fourth, one, two, three, fourth pair of sunglasses today. Like, they're an absolute bargain when you go to Primark. So every single one of those glasses were only three pounds. So I'm I'm buzzing for I'm buzzing for the summer now, like because I've got my glasses. My eyes are all protected and shit. I got one more piece of clothing, and then I got all the accessories. So I'll show the accessories afterwards. But I saw this little top, and I thought this is really cute. If you know, if you kind of get to know me a bit better, you'll know that I quite like my my grungy grungy stuff. So I'm quite into like the kind of rock look, rock punk kind of gothic -y look that's that like I've got kind of gothic street style can I call it that do you know what that is my style gothic street style it's a mix of gothic urban street style bam gothic urban street style that is me so like I have like that kind of gothic look where I quite like things that are a bit kind of dark and like edgy and then I have my kind of street style which is like all my 90s era stuff so I seen this t-shirt in Primark and I absolutely loved it because it kind of gave a girly tinge to what I like to wear which it's got flowers on it I never normally buy anything with flowers on it but I do quite like this one so I got this oh get out of my way so I've seen this little ACDC t-shirt and it's got like this little florally print on it. Um, these aren't actually like Diamonte's, it's just like a sparkle kind of foil print that's on it. And it's in this like soft baby pink colour and it's so cute. So I thought that looked really, really nice to jazz up my um, black jeans because I only wear black. Um, but I really like this one. I thought this was really, really nice and something a bit different for the summer. So instead of me just wearing all the black stuff. We got a little bit of colour in there. So, um, what, oh yeah, this was eight pounds. Eight pounds. Um, I bought this in like quite a big size. So I got this in a size 16 because I like it to be over... I don't think it was meant to be oversized. I think this is actually meant to be quite a fitted t-shirt. But I wanted it to be big and oversized. So this actually sits really baggy on me. Look how wide that looks on the screen. I'm looking forward to wearing that over the summertime. You'll probably see that in a few of my Instagram pictures. So, And if you don't follow me on Instagram, go and check it down below. Which is Nikki McAndrew. Holla at you girl. Yeah, so that was the last piece of clothing that I got today. So I only really picked up two t-shirts and a pair of jeans today. Which is actually quite it's quite good. Moving on, we just kind of got the last kind of accessory things in here. So let's have a look what I picked up. I saw this belt and I love a bit of leopard print. And it's only because I think it adds that kind of little bit of sass to an outfit. So you can have the most plain outfit on ever, but you chuck a little bit of leopard print in there. It just stands out. It's amazing. So I got this little leopard print waist belt. And it's actually, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's actually a little bit furry. And I got this in a size medium and it was only £3. This is a nice little staple piece to stick on with a pair of jeans or wrapped around like an oversized t-shirt. So yeah, I got myself a little. Of course, when you're in Primark, what do you do? You pick yourself up some eyelashes. I picked up the girls with attitude lashes. Um, no, when I did my last Primark one, you would have seen that I picked up some of these before. So yeah, I got more. From the nude range, I actually didn't pick up any of the makeup today, but I needed some new tweezers and they had some of the nude tweezers in. So I picked them up because one's like a thicker one, which is great if I'm putting my eyelashes on. And one's like a thinner one, so which is good when I'm really trying to tidy up my eyebrows and stuff. So I got these and these were only £1.50. Okay, that went right in my basket. So the last two things I got from Primark was I really wanted some scrunchies. I used to wear scrunchies all the time. Like one of my favourite scrunchies that I have is like a leopard print one. Leopard print. Um, so like I really like my leopard print one. Um, but I don't know where it's went. It's went missing. I don't know where it is. 
one so I picked up these ones which are quite kind of pastel -y colours and there's like a little denim colour on there as well and again these were only £1.50 but they're great for just kind of shoving your hair up out the way and stuff like that and lastly check can we just appreciate how cute these are Mark they had these little teeny tiny ones which for someone like me who's got really short hair when I'm putting it up into like a messy bun I don't the big ones sometimes stick out like when I'm trying to put them in they stick out the other side because I don't have really thick hair so these little teeny tiny ones can you see them they're like little mini versions of them like look at this this is one of this is one of the big ones look they're so tiny and these little ones will, you won't even be able to see them which is fabulous so so they're like amazing love these but they were only a pound so this is really really good okay so the last little bits i picked up when i was in edinburgh today was some makeup um i went into boots and in boots they have the nyx range in there um and i'd heard quite a bit about well i ran out of my urban decay just like there's like the tiniest amount left in this. So I was going to go and buy it again, but I have actually heard some good things about the next one. So I went into Boots and I picked up the next Matte Finish Finny, Finny Matte? That can't be how you say it. Matte Finish Finny Matte and it's long lasting setting spray. So I'm going to give this a little bash and this was only £7. So I'm going to give this a bash and see um, how well this kind of works up to my... Um, or a decay one and we'll see how we get on with that so i'll let i'll let you i'll update you with this one and see how we get on with this one um, i also picked up the nyx hd studio finishing powder so i just wanted some loose powder and i've heard that this one is really really good so um i'm going to give this a little go as well and i'm sure this was only eight pound as well so eight pound and lastly again as you would have if you'd watched my makeup tutorial if you haven't make sure you go and have a look at that one i ran out of my anastasia beverly hills eyebrow pencil and i didn't really want to have to spend the money on it again if i didn't have to so i heard listen to the dogs i think we're not happy that i've not seen them yet i decided that i wanted to try something that was a bit cheaper rather than jumping into buying the expensive one again and i've heard that the next one was really good so this is the micro brow pencil and i actually got this in the shade ash brown now i normally buy taupe when i get the one from anastasia beverly hills i didn't have it left in the one for nyx um but I tried this one on my hand and it actually suited quite well because I do like my, my eyebrows to be a bit ashier. I usually go a bit ashier on my eyebrows anyway, so I'm going to give this a little shot and see how I get on. Because if I can buy something that works and it's cheaper, psh, you know that I'm going to be changing that. So, um, yeah, that's, that's what I picked up when I was in Edinburgh today. Let's get cleaning because I got some cleaning to do. Okay, so you'll see that I have changed because I'm going to do some cleaning and I needed something a bit more comfortable to put on. Um, I've got some washings and stuff to do. Um, what I am looking for though, some recommendations as for where I can get some really nice like necklaces. I'm looking for like some new jewellery to wear. Like I kind of like to wear like dainty kind of things like this that are silver. I don't really go for gold. I tend to wear silver more. But I do love a choker. But I want to be able to stack them so that I can have like shorter ones, like proper chokers into shorter ones and longer ones. But when I was in Edinburgh today, I couldn't find like like very much at all. Like it wasn't really anything. So if you have any recommendations for good necklaces or where I can get some good necklaces, pop them down below because I would like to know cleaning of the downstairs is done us in a pop -out. we've cleaned down the stairs the downstairs is clean and tidy isn't it yes so we've cleaned down the stairs it's looking tidy ish oh thank you oh he loves me sometimes he doesn't love me do you sometimes he doesn't want to give me a kiss and a cuddle but we're actually going to have a cup of tea and we're going to watch what are we going to watch pop -out? might catch up on some youtube actually um and then i'm going to go up the stairs and i am going to finish the upstairs uh, yeah okay do you want to say hello to the vlog hugo so he told you he doesn't love me all the time hugo do you want to say hello to the vlog the thing is i bet you think i've only got one dog because this is the only one who ever comes and cuddles properly rocco is upstairs and he is mucking about because he likes to play a lot but here he oh look here he comes whoa okay then crazy dog look crazy crazy this is when he does his mad spell. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Crazy damn fool. Um, so yeah, so he likes to muck about and play upstairs. While me and Hugo cuddle all the time, don't we? Because Hugo's quite a chilled dog, so he likes to lie down. While the other one just likes to muck around, don't you, Rocket? You like to muck about? 
So I am going to have a cup of tea with an Easter egg that I got from one of my dancers. And yeah, I'm going to watch the telly for about 15 minutes and then I'm going to head back up the stairs and finish doing the rest of my cleaning. And then after I do the cleaning of my rocket, I have got a video to do. So actually I've got two videos to film, so I will be filming those two videos shortly as well. Okay, so I'm actually currently filming um for a new video that's going up so be sure to check out for this one coming um, but i've been given a couple of products to try so you might be able to see but i've actually got like this mask on my face to try um and it's really tight like <clears throat> it's tight i'm currently just sitting in my filming room um and just trying out these products um for the new video like i just thought i can update you on the vlog what i'm in the look i can't even crease because it's that tight Preview, quick preview. Sneak preview. Um, once I've filmed this video, I will be getting ready to go into my bed and I am going to be doing some editing and I've also got some choreography things to do for tomorrow. I'm going to go and sit and cut the music ready for them tomorrow. Hey, how you doing? That's me just finished a uh, filming for my new video, which should be up either tomorrow night or Tuesday, depending on when I get a minute to upload it because I have got work all day tomorrow. I mean, my face feels incredible from the product, so definitely watch the video. But yeah, so I'm just going to get myself down the stairs and make myself a cup of tea, um, and then I'm going to get myself all shut down down the stairs and up to my bedroom. I'm working tomorrow from 9 till 4, straight through our long privates. Side though. Um, and then I'm hopefully going to be able to go all the way up to Costa tomorrow night so I can upload this vlog, which will be fab. Um, but yeah, so let's go and get myself a cup of tea. Okay, so I have just been. Oh, hello, light. So I have just been down and filled up my swell water bottle with some water um, so that I have some water to keep me hydrated while I am doing my editing. Um, I also have myself a cup of tea and I found a little bit more of an easter egg so I'm gonna have some easter egg before I go to bed. I'm gonna sit and edit this vlog so that this is ready to go up and then I'm gonna start editing the video that I've just filmed as well but I am also I am editing my music and stuff for my private lessons tomorrow as well and by the way can we just um can we just appreciate this book so I picked this book up when I was at the airport I don't really want to say it. Yeah, like I picked this up at the airport um, after seeing quite a good review and stuff about it. So it's basically like a um, self-help guide to like try and ignore like negative people and stuff like that, which can we just say we're dealing with some negative people in life. At the moment, like there just seems to be negative people constantly and I feel like I'm always battling against them. Um yeah, I'm just going <laughs> it is a good book. So if you want to um if you want to have a little read, have a read. I'm I've just started it so um I'm just trying to get into the into the swing of it. Um but yeah I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start doing some editing. Um so I think it's probably time to finish the vlog. Um it's been actually quite a productive day today. Like I didn't think when I started doing my vlog to this morning that I was gonna have like that much of a productive day. I thought it was going to be a bit boring for you guys to watch, but I actually think I've done not too bad. So, so if you have liked this vlog though, you know what to do. You give it a like and you'll subscribe and you'll be one of my peoples. You know what I'm saying? God knows where that come from, but if there's any suggestions for videos, please pop them down below because I'm always looking for new videos and stuff like that to upload. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to finish the vlog there, guys. So I shall see you in the next one. Bye.